Okay, so just a little bit of tidying up to do. Now we've got the bulk of the images and the text in here. Um, the first of which is to make the text across the top in the title a bit more legible. We've got this area where we've got the frame of the image, which is white, and then we've got white text. So first things first, um, I'm going to unlock the images layer, click on that image, and then I'm going to change the stroke color of that one from white to blue, press return, and then um, I'm going to go to my text frame, double click on my text frame, press command A to select all the text in there, and then go to the stroke properties for that text. So notice in here now I'm editing just the stroke properties of the uh, type, not the frame. I can scroll down the list and I can pick the take a break blue. And then if I hit the return key to make this pop up disappear and then hit the escape key, you can see now we've got a border around that text in there. Also, there's an issue with the word here that we've got. So we've got S and E, then now they split just where the inside of the page is. Um, the P is probably fine, but again, I need to just double click on that. Probably swipe across all the characters in that line only. And then just to try and get that word space out a touch more, I'm going to go to my tracking value first of all, and then just tap up and that will just push that to the side. So we'll probably just get away with that in there. Um, and that allows us to get that split down the middle. And um, I can always put my cursor in between these two words and then tweak just the space in between those two characters, between the E and the S um, at this side. So the end of the word have, if I want to just pull the S back over a little bit, I can then choose the kerning option up at the top. So tap down just to pull that back over, just a touch in there. So we've got a kind of a split down the middle that would work better in there. Hit the escape key. So the title at the top, that's that's working okay. Um, these two columns concern me a little bit because we've got a kind of a very odd split in here. So I'm going to click on this text frame, which actually finishes at the top up here. I'm going to pull this down so we get one clean line in there and also click on this one and pull this one down and we get another clean line in there like so. That will allow me then to click on the photograph in here, uh, move this around and hopefully get a slightly better layout. Yeah, I think that's probably about as good as I can hope for with that, just tweaking that positioning in there. So yeah, changing the height of those two frames gave me the control that I needed. Um, last one then for now is this one here. This needs moving down into the middle uh, of where that passage of text is. Pick up my zoom tool, zoom in here, get a nice clear view, switch back to my selection tool, make the text frame taller, and then from here, I need to pull the handles in. So I'm going to pull it in at this side and then pull it in at this side and then just extend that down a touch as well. So that kind of matches the layout that I've got for the magazine in here. Uh, we need to increase the text wrap as well. So uh, go to window, then go down to text wrap. Uh, we obviously need to push the text away from this region in here. So I'm going to increase the right offset to push that away and then possibly increase the left offset just to make sure we don't get any text running into the side of that. I think with that done, we're good. Click away from there, hit the escape key and then down in this bottom corner down here, there is a gap. So if I click away, make sure I click on the images layer and then I'm going to go to uh, file and choose place. I'm going to bring in the Facebook logo because that's why we've got the gap down here for a quick link to the Facebook page. Click on open. Um, I, we don't need a transparent background in this case. It's going to be starting to white background. We want to crop to the artwork, which is just this uh, Facebook symbol. Uh, so with that done, I can click OK. I'm then going to start level with the bottom margin inside this final column in here. So I'm going to start here, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down, drag upwards. So this runs across sort of four columns inside of here. Uh, it runs across four rows, sorry, in there. Now we do have another white gap in here. So with all that drop, uh, dropped in there, um, we need to just, in this case, just move this down a touch. And then I can click on this text frame, pull that one down just to pull it further away. And yeah, I think we've now got the balance that we need in there. If I press the W key and then go to view and choose fit spreading window, um, you're going to find that that is 
pretty much what you'll find in terms of the way that text is laid out inside of uh, Take a Break magazine. Um, so last couple of bits is to put the page numbers in here uh, and then we're done and we can move on to the cover. <laughs> 